the pandemic and the news on booster shots. The FDA's plan could be ready within weeks. It comes as the vaccination rate appears to be turning around more than 864,000 doses administered just since yesterday. That's the highest number in a single day in more than a month. Meanwhile, the Delta variant is surging across the country. 100,000 new daily cases for the second time this week and the most significant increases in hospitalization since last winter. A month ago, there were 12,000 patients in America's hospitals. Tonight, there are more than 61,000. And the growing concern for children who are too young to be vaccinated as the debate over masking at school is growing more heated. Pediatric hospitalizations are now three and a half times higher than they were a month ago. Tonight, more than 192 million people have had at least one dose of vaccine. That's 68% of people 12 and older. And a growing number of the newly vaccinated are in the states where the virus is soaring. ABC's Victor Akendo leads us off tonight in Miami Beach. Tonight, federal health officials signaling they will likely recommend booster shots for immunocompromised Americans reportedly within weeks. It is extremely important for us to move to get those individuals their boosters. And we are now working on that and will make that be implemented as quickly as possible. Those first boosters would go to vulnerable people like cancer or transplant patients or those on medications that suppress the immune system. Today, Moderna saying a booster for its vaccine will likely be needed in the fall. The company reporting its vaccine was 93% effective six months later, but that data was crunched before the Delta variant took hold. Tonight on the front lines of Florida's COVID crisis, hospitals like Memorial Healthcare System pushed to the brink. The state reporting 2,000 new patients in just one day teams making room in the hospital cafeteria. The patients are coming in younger, sicker, and unfortunately sometimes they are expiring quicker. Florida has more children hospitalized with confirmed COVID cases than any other state in the country, but the governor today doubling down on his ban of mask mandates in schools. What are the harmful effects of putting a kindergartner in a mask for seven hours? Have they talked about the emotional, the academic, the physiological? President Biden this week criticizing states for banning mask mandates. The governor firing back, saying, I'm not going anywhere. Our Stephanie Ramos today pressing the White House on DeSantis's comments. I refer to the president as a power hungry tyrant. What is your response or to the governor and administration's response to the governor. Today, the White House pointing to Florida's COVID numbers. That 25% of hospitalizations in the country are in Florida. It is also a fact that the governor has taken steps that are counter, counter to public health recommendations. Late today, the president asked about the Florida governor. Governor who? DeSantis. <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale, 17-year-old David Espino, a high school football player, hospitalized for 10 days with COVID, developing pneumonia. He's now at Broward Health. It's been pretty scary, actually. Uh, I, was, I wasn't actually able to go to the bathroom without uh, shortness of breath a couple of days ago. It could get to anyone. It could get you, if you're 10, if you could get you, if you're 60, it doesn't matter like how old you are. That's it comes amid growing concern for the young. The number of children admitted to hospitals with COVID now three and a half times higher than it was a month ago. David and his mother regret not getting him vaccinated. I would definitely encourage them to get their kids vaccinated if they're eligible, because now with school starting and, you know, uh, we're here and more than half of the kids here are, you know, due to COVID. And so it's it's scary. So many concern now about the children. Victor Kendo joins us now. Victor, with some 90 million eligible Americans who still have not gotten the shot, explain why Dr. Anthony Fauci is now warning that the continued spread could lead to a variant that's worse than Delta. Lindsay, Dr. Anthony Fauci is saying that without more people getting vaccinated, the virus will keep mutating and we could end up with a variant that's even worse than Delta that could evade vaccines. That's why it's all the more critical to get more shots into arms now. Lindsay? Victor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.